Matthew chapter 5, verse 28. But I say unto you, Jesus speaking, that whosoever looketh on a woman to lust after her committed adultery with her already in his heart. I'm here to speak about a, a, a pornography, porn, adultery that has not been physically done. I'm not talking about two naked bodies joining each other together in a sexual act. I'm talking about Jesus said, for whosoever looketh, looketh upon a woman. The woman doesn't have to be there. She could be on a screen. She can be on a piece of paper. She can be on a video game. Or she can be across the room. When you see a woman in a bathing suit and you've got sexual desires for her, you catcall and, and, and your mind goes thinking, you have committed adultery. And you don't need to take that woman to bed, a physical bed. You can take her to bed with your thoughts. And it's, it's a sin. It's a charge of adultery. Listen, David committed adultery with Bathsheba before he even called her to his castle. He committed fornication when he kept looking, the lust of the flesh. And listen, if you're a husband, and the Bible says, Proverbs 5, 19, let her, your wife, be as a loving hind, a present woe, row. Let her breast satisfy thee at all times. Friend, if you're a husband and you're satisfied with the breast of other women, friend, if you're not even married and you're satisfied with the breast or the buttocks or other parts of a woman's body, you commit adultery. Wife, if you become satisfied with looking at the male anatomy of a penis or a butt or, or a good body, you know, wife, you committed adultery. Thinking. Jesus said the very thinking is also the act of an adultery. That is the danger of the pornography of print books, movies television, and video games. If you have become aroused to that man or woman and you have undressed them in your mind and your thoughts, you stand guilty by the words of Jesus Christ of adultery. You may have men in the ministry, well, I never committed adultery. And, and you know, they are divorced and they're forbidden in the ministry because, because of the divorce. And yet, have you ever looked at a woman? I am telling you right now, you are listening to a man who is teaching the Bible and has committed adultery. <clears throat> Turn off the tube. Because I have been guilty of looking at women and having that desire. I live in Daytona Beach, man. Daytona Beach. I have been in public ministry preaching the gospel and had women walk in front of me. If I wanted to, when my wife was alive, we wanted to go to the beach. We had to go later on. Sure didn't want to go to the beach during the day because, you know, the excitement, the arousement. I'm here to tell you, if you never, never looked at a woman to have any desire beyond a friendship, you have had that, that arousement of your mind, even kissing or even hugging, that thought of, a, of another opposite sex has attracted your thrills and attracted your mind. 
you're guilty of adultery. I'm so, sorry to say, too, uh, this day and age in, in 2021, if you have been aroused by the same sex, a man looking at another man or a woman looking at another woman, you have been aroused sexually of the opposite sex or the same sex. You have committed an abomination of what Jesus says is, is adultery. You don't have to take that woman physically through the bedroom door or the back seat of a car or into a motel room. You don't have to physically do it. All you got to do is think about it. When you're sitting there at that computer and you're looking at those images and you, and you are thinking of those images and you are looking at what you should not be looking at, you've already committed adultery. And you may hide it from your spouse and you may hide it from your children. You may hide it from your pastor. You may hide it from your church, but you are not hiding it from God. It won't be if it be a pastor. And I, I'm not talking about, you know, you, you're walking down and you see that woman. You, you, all right, you take a look and then boom. I'm talking about you take the second look, you take the third look, you keep looking, and you sinned against God. Listen, I had I've had women wherever I've been in church and all that, and they bend over. Oh, can't see that. All right, that's fine. But if I'm on the street and there's a woman in a bathing suit, there's a woman. And, and, whoa, whoa. Listen, I'm a widower. I am looking for a wife, and, and the devil says, I know what attracts you. That's a sin. You say, well, I never had premarital sex. Uh, what did you think? What did you de desire? What was your lust? What was your coveting? Because you don't have to be in the act to do the act if you're just thinking about the act. Isn't it amazing that our Savior, our God, our Judge says, not only will I judge you for sleeping physically with somebody you ought not to be sleeping with, but I will judge you for thinking about sleeping with that person. You can be charged with adultery with a woman you never met. Or a man you never met. Over the internet, a magazine. A movie, a video game, a, a, a romance book, or any book. You can be charged with adultery when you're thinking what you ought not to be thinking. Now, let me show you one more thing as we close. Jesus said to lust after her. Lust. You have that lust toward the opposite sex. You're coveting, you're wanting, you're satisfied, you're aroused, you're guilty. The lust after her has committed adultery with her. Now, there's some women that you're going to, uh, you know, they dress right, they do right, and they did not provoke you, your own mind. All right? I believe those women won't be charged. But if that woman is walking in a bathing suit, if that woman is on your screen, if that woman is in that book and she's naked and she's dressed and the lingerie has you to be attracted to her, she is dressing, she's undressing to provoke someone to look at her and to examine her and to desire her and to want her commit adultery with her. When the woman arouses her body for somebody else and not her husband, that her cause is for, look at me, fantasize about me, call attention to the lust of the eyes, call attention to the lust of the flesh, and look at my body, look at me. God says, you are charged with adultery, and that woman is charged with adultery. 
You know, these women that, that get up and pose naked and, 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 and pose in bathing suit and go out and dress for the beach in their bathing suit and they saved or loss. If their mode of their dress and their attitude is to attract the opposite sex, whether they stand at the judgment seat of Christ or they stand at the great white throne judgment, man or woman, topless dancers, male dancers, male models, female models, pinups, centerfolds, starlets, Harlems, whores, and prostitutes, they're, give, they're charged with adultery by God the creator and God by the, by the judge. All you got to do is think. All you got to do is you want people to think. I know there are women out there, they dress right, they do right, and a man with just a perverted mind. I don't think that woman's going to be charged. But if that woman's dressed, if it provokes, if he's provoked, adultery. Let's change the name of porn. Let's change the name of pornography. Let's give it the biblical name, adultery. Well, I've never been married. How can I commit adultery? You look. You look. You looked. And sin. Friend, that's two of the tools of the devil's toolbox the lust of the flesh and the pride, not the pride, well, the pride of life, you can do it, but the lust of the eyes. Husband, are you married to a wife? Let her breasts satisfy you, let her private parts satisfy you, let her butt satisfy you. Wife, are you married? Let his private parts. Let his chest satisfy you. And wife, give your body over to your husband because if you don't give your body over to your husband, he's going to go looking elsewhere. Husband, give yourself to your wife. Don't, call, don't, don't cause her to go to a romance novels. You give her the romance. You make yourself the object and desire of her life that she don't have to go for it in a book or a magazine or a soap opera. And wife, don't make him go to go to a television screen. Don't make him go to a computer screen. Don't make him have to get a magazine. Let him say, hey, I want you. All you gotta do all you gotta do is think and act, but Thinking is enough in the world of not pornography, in the world of adultery.